It's me. Hi. I'm always the problem. It's me. Hello, YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are kicking it so old school. I'm actually using a vlog camera that I used to use back in the day. And I wanted to do a Sephora haul for you guys and just keep it easy. I'm not using a microphone or anything. So I hope that this video goes over well. I just wanted to make it easy for a change. Also, let me show you my cat. <laughs> Marty Mayo. Oh, I know. Oh, he's a sleepy girl. You are so stinking sweet. She loves this chair. So, the point of this video is to show you all the new shit I got from Sephora. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Okay, hold on. Also, let me just say, I'm wearing a tank top. Wow. 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 I'm showing my arms. Those who watch Jacqueline's journey, they get it. This is like a very, very big moment for me. Haven't worked out my arms in a month. So um, we're just gonna get through it because it's summer in Florida and I'm sick of letting my insecurities dictate what I wear. So that's that. Let's see, are we straight? We're straight, we're straight. Sometimes you just need a fancy glass just to make yourself feel better. Ah, just like a martini. Okay, let's dive in you guys. So I got this box in the mail. Let's see what I ordered here. Oh my God, this is how long my receipt is. One page, two page, three pages of a receipt. Okay, I don't even see my total, um, which is terrifying, but I know that it was over, <laughs> it's over, over $2,000. Ah! I'm gonna just turn this this way. Sorry, my background isn't like the most beautiful thing in the entire world. Oh, well, let me scoot you closer. Wait, let's get close. Should I turn on the light in that bathroom to make it prettier? Hold on, please. That feels kind of weird. I just feel like my background is not aesthetically pleasing for you right now. And you know I take pride in my home. I need to be a good host. Do the candles help at all? Ooh, now that I'm sweating. Okay, like I was saying, I spent too much money on makeup products. All right, we have so. Okay, so I guess keeping this video real as possible, I just started having another ocular migraine. This would be my third one in the last 10 days. Tipsy is barking right now, she does this. She's barking because she has a treat in her mouth. No one's even near her, listen to her. She's growling just to let everyone know I have a treat. Don't f with me, now George is barking at her. No one's gonna bother you, Tipsy. Anyways, I started getting a migraine, so I had to put on my glasses. I'm like, I just have to like go into like a dark room and just like chill. I just chugged a Coke. But I'm scared that the bright light is gonna make it come back. Because <laughs> this is what my optometrist told me to do. It's to like chug a Coca-Cola Coca -Cola specifically. I was like, can I just drink coffee? There's so much sugar in this. And she was like, no, drink a Coke. So anyways, let's get back to it. We're here for our Sephora haul, okay? I bought a ton of stuff. Hair products, perfume, roller balls, um, actual makeup, I, everything. Everything that Sephora offers, I purchased, okay? I have been absolutely loving, 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 loving makeup products again recently. There is a reason for it. <laughs> there is definitely a deeper reason for the fact that my love has come back, as you guys know. I hate talking about myself in third person like this, but like the Jaclyn Hill name on social media, like. It's makeup, right? When I meet you guys out in public, that's the most common thing that I hear is you taught me how to do makeup, right? I definitely fell off for a while, but I'm back into it. And I will explain a lot more as to the depths of that in the next month or so here on my channel. But for right now, I'm just excited to be loving makeup again. So let, well, I'm just gonna dive into this box and no rhyme or reason. Let's, let's get going. First things first, I love that this brand is popping off because Jesus, who now he's like doing everybody, Jesus hair on Instagram, him and I work together at this point for like eight, nine years. He's amazing, but he has always loved this brand and I love that Color Wow is now starting to pop off and everyone's talking about them because their products are incredible. And I have not tried this one yet. This is the Firm Flexible Hairspray. So I just love this brand. So when I saw they were at Sephora, I was like, okay, cute. I'm gonna get several things. I currently own several products. I just wanted more and I'm really happy for them. Ooh, the hairspray smells good. This video is gonna be two and a half hours long. Period. This right here, I'm not gonna open it, okay? So this is the Burberry Her Perfume. I ordered it, but a couple days ago, I went to Sephora with my nieces and I smelt it in person and I was like, no. By the way, it's not a new perfume, it's old, but I smelt it, I don't like it, so I'm gonna return that and obviously I'm not gonna open it. This right here, I already took out of the packaging because I'm so excited to try it. And it's now one of my staples in my makeup routine. It's the Givenchy Prism Libre. 
under eye setting powder and I got mine in the shade three, which is super pink. It's what I have on my under eye right now. I use a combination of this and the Jaclyn Cosmetics under eye setting palette to set my under eyes. And it is literally like the best under eye cocktail in the entire world. Like it's good, bitch, listen. I've always liked this brand. I have several perfumes, okay? But some I'm like, I don't know. And some I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Tell me why they sent me this in PR, okay? And like every size. Opened it up, sprayed it, and I was like, I'm not a fan. So what did I do? I donated it. All, like all the PR stuff that I get, sometimes I give it to my family. The majority of the time I donate it to women's shelters, just in case you're wondering what I mean by when I say I donated something. But tell me why. I then went back into Sephora, smelt it again, and I was like, I'm obsessed. So put it in my basket and add it to the order. All right, hold on. Let me just, I haven't smelt it now in a few weeks, hold on. It's, it's so good. It's called pistache, so genuinely in my nasal cavity right now, hold on. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Don't gotta be such a little bitch to me, but that's fine. There's something about it that feels, and like smells old school, but it's sexy and it's warm. It's called pistachio gelato. It's good and I can just tell by the scent of it that it's gonna last on my skin for a very long time. So I'm very excited about this. I just love fragrances. I love finding, I love finding fragrances that I, maybe the migraines have gone to my head. Let me get you even closer, okay? I'm gonna just bring you in. Okay, another perfume. I have not smelled this one yet. We're gonna smell it on camera together, even though that, Yum little gelato situation is still very present in the home. This is the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Summer Vibes. I used to be obsessed with the original Dolce Gabbana Light Blue back in the day, like when I first started YouTube, obsessed. But I have not smelled this one. The packaging is so pretty and I'm so curious to see, is it gonna be more intense? Is it gonna, oh, the bottle, sickening. Look at that bottle. Okay, that's beautiful. Hold on, I'm so excited. I love fragrance. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. This is so aggressively masculine. I'm so confused. This was in the women's section. I'm so, I'm confused. You know what this reminds me of? God love you, Dolce. Okay, you're great. But this reminds me of my dad's aftershave that he used to use. My childhood trauma just came rushing back to me. I'm triggered. It's fine, it's great. We'll find someone who likes it. Okay, you guys, listen. Listen. This right here, I never gave this a shot, okay? Because I was in my I hate makeup phase and I don't wanna try new shit when this good Apple Kat Von D foundation came out, okay? So I got it because I wanna give it a fair shot. I feel like this had its moment where people were obsessed and now nobody talks about it, which worries me. Also, why that is not my color. That's really dark. Again, I ordered this online. I did order more than one shade though. I think I ordered two. I don't ever see people talking about it anymore necessarily, but people were obsessed at one point. So I want to give it a fair shot because at this point I've been wearing the same few foundations for quite a while and I'm looking to adjust, okay? Also, I did buy these as well, which are the Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation by Kat Von D. Again, I have not heard anything about these, which kind of makes me nervous and excited at the same time, but I want to give it a fair shot. My issue, which I mentioned in my last YouTube video that I posted where I was doing makeup, is that I do have such sensitive skin that I have to be careful trying things. If I'm gonna try like a new foundation, I can't try a new concealer that day, I can't try a new primer that day, because you never know, even something that like has great ingredients, I will wake up with a full-blown rash. So we'll try them out, we'll see, I'll report back. Oh yes, okay. I forgot I ordered this, oh my God, it's like Christmas. This brand right here, it's called Ellis Brooklyn, okay? Love it. If you have not tried their perfumes, they have such beautiful perfumes. I own probably four of their perfumes. They're so good. Their fragrance called Myth is one of my favorite of all time. I've gone through two bottles of it, I think. But this right here is the Marvelous Massage and Body Oil because I do get massages. I try to get a massage like once a month, um, especially when I'm working out. And I love providing my own massage and body oil because I know exactly what is being put on my skin. Oh my God. Okay, so they have a CBD lotion that's expensive. It's like $100 for the tub of lotion, but I always have my girl use that when I get massage and this smells just like it. And it is the most relaxing scent in the entire world. I could not even describe it to you. So now she'll have the oil and the CBD lotion. Oh, cute. I absolutely had to, I had no choice I love this packaging. I think it's so beautiful. Can't say too much, but I've actually been working on a product 
the packaging is so similar and I don't know if I'm actually gonna come out with it or not but like this outer packaging is so similar except mine says my name and not Fenty obviously we've all been seeing these and they are getting so much love on social media, so I'm super excited to try. It's the Fenty Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This shade right here, I'm so excited about. This is the Sea Sweet shade 03, and it's like this dusty rose. That's my kind of shade right there. That's beautiful. Okay, and then this one, we have the MVP. Bitch, we know this color. The formula looks like it could be a little tricky. I'm super interested to see what it's like when I actually wear it. Oh my God, I wanna put that color on. Do it. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna waste your time. Oh my God, it's so pretty though. Did I get one more? Okay, so I guess I didn't get another one. I thought I got three, but I guess not. If I happen to come across it in the box, obviously we'll pull out and do a little swatchy swatch, but as of right now, I can't find it. The packaging of this is also amazing. Like at the top, like that floating, you can't really see it on camera, but like that floating logo, that's so cool. Another one of the Color Wow products, I'm so excited to try this in my hair. This is the Extra Large Balm Shell Volumizer. At this point, I don't know if any of these are like gonna be different than the other ones. I feel like we've come so far in innovation in the industry and in hair and makeup that I'm like, is anything actually gonna be innovative at this point? You know what I'm saying? Cause like I own a ton of volumizing mousses and they all work, but I still continue to purchase more as I'm gonna find one that's like, oh my God, I all of a sudden have the hair of my dreams. Like, I don't think that's gonna happen. But I love products. <laughs> okay, this is by Replica and I got a roller ball because I wanted to see if I liked, oh, sorry, it's a little spritzy spritz. I wanted to see if I liked the scent before like purchasing a big one, unlike him. This is called When the Rain Stops and I love this brand. I would say I own probably, I can see my tray in my head. I think I own six different of these perfumes. So let's see if I like When the Rain Stops. I own this. This is what happens when you're a product whore. I wear this actually quite often, so it's a great one. When the rain stops. At least now I have it in a travel size. I have another small one, again, by Alice Brooklyn. This is the brand I was telling you about earlier that I love. And this is their newest scent called Vanilla Milk. And I have not smelt it yet. So again, I got the small one. That way, if I can't stand it, I don't have a full size. Let's see. Oh my God. I keep having to sneeze and I keep losing it. There's something about this that I really like. And there's something about it that I absolutely can't stand. I think it's the milk portion. I was expecting it to be different and like warmer warmer and creamier. It's not. It kind of smells like expired vanilla. I wanted it to be warmer and softer. Okay, so this is not my vibe. I'm sure it's somebody else's vibe, but I have been so into vanilla-based perfumes recently that I was really excited about that, but I'm, I'm, I'm not dead. I'm not dying. I'm not queefing, and that's really all that matters. All right, I got several of the makeup by Mario. I always say Mario, but when I met him, he said Mario. So I try so hard to say that. I'm like, he's not Super Mario, okay? There are two different icons. There are Mario and there are Mario. So Makeup by Mario, I got four more of his um, eye pencils because I have the one in it. I think it's called Extreme Black. It's his blackest one. Bitch, I made a TikTok about like top five favorite products that I've been loving, that I've been loving recently and his liners are one of them. What I love, What's happening? Okay, I'm tripping. I'm sorry, but he has the same packaging for lips and eyes. So some of these are lip pencils and some of these are eye pencils, okay? Great! Also, this is so random, and I don't know why I'm choosing to tell you this. I think it's because, like, I'm sitting here casually in my kitchen using, like, a little old-school vlog camera, but... This is like one of my biggest flexes. I actually have two. I have another flex, if you will, that like I want to tell you guys so bad because it's just like such a cool thing and like everyone like in my life knows. But I feel like if I say it online, people would be like, you're so, you're such a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, one of my biggest flexes though is that when I met Mario, Mario, ah, I'm sorry, I love you, in person, he told me that I had the prettiest skin he'd ever seen. I'm not kidding when I say that made my entire life. That was like five years ago and I still can't pick up one of his products without being like, oh my God. Like obviously my skin doesn't look the same anymore. Actually my skin's improved, but that was like, the craziest moment ever. Like imagine meeting like your makeup icon. This is before he even had his brand. And he says that to you. I was like, oh, like I didn't even care about the rest of the day. I was just like, bitch, I'm floating. So going back, two eyeliners I got by him. I got the soft brown and I got the perfect brown. Two different shades, obviously love that. And hold on. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is rich, Mario. The soft brown we have right there. I bought the, these just because I had the black one, like I said, and it is one of the best eyeliners I've ever used in my life. It does not transfer, it does not move. It is on that waterline and bitch, it is good to go. Oh yeah. Those are so good. Look at that. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so I got two lip liners and this one's empty because I dug into it a couple of days ago and I just couldn't wait. Um, this is the Smoky Pink Lip Liner, which I'm actually wearing on my lips right now, along with Be Brave by Jaclyn Cosmetics and a YSL candy gloss on top. Love it. And then I also have the shade Johnny that I bought. Whoops, wrong side. Let's see. Oh yeah. Perfect little lavender, rosy pink right there. Gorgeous. Love it. We've got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat. We all love and know the gloss bombs, right? But I wanted to get this one right here. This is in the shade Fussy Heat. And I, fussy is one of my favorite words ever. If you're new here, I love it. I've been saying fussy for like 10 plus years and it's at the point where like it started as a joke and now I just say it like normal. Like I don't even think it's funny anymore and people will meet me and be like, fussy, but if I'm like pissy, I say I'm fussy. And this shade is freaking beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have a comb on set? Anyone, a comb? Oh. Okay, I don't know why, but that gloss bomb that I just applied tastes different than the rest of them. I wonder if it's sat on the shelf. I don't know, but it doesn't taste like the rest of them. Oh well, I'm still gonna use it until it's empty. Bitch. This, you know me. Okay, well, unless you're new and you don't know me, <laughs> that's a lie. But uh, you know what I talk about online and you know that it is very difficult for me to love a concealer, okay? Same with foundation. Why are my lips on fire? <laughs> is this a different product than I thought it was? Oh, it's gotta be like a plumper or something. My lips are on fire. It's a plumper. This is not what I thought it was. Ignore me. My lips are on fire. I just have a heart attack. <laughs> Why am I grabbing my heart? I'm like, anyways, this concealer right here, this is the D Dior Forever. <laughs> my lips are so distracting, oh my God. Okay, the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, and it is so freaking good, you guys. So this right here is not my shade, so I haven't opened it because I'm going to return it. This is 3N. My actual shade, I believe, was 2.5 that I ended up keeping. And it is so beautiful. Whitney Simmons is the one that turned me onto this and it is good. I do not consider it a full coverage. I consider it a medium and buildable, but it is beautiful. Okay, right here we have the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I, I've had an issue with my lashes for the past like year. They're finally getting better and healthier. So I've been back into mascaras again and I have not. Why the hell did my dumbass order it in brown? I really like that wand. I don't know, maybe I'll do a brown look. That could be pretty. Like brown smoky, like the Mario liner, and then brown lashes. That could actually be really pretty. Okay, maybe I'll try that. Another makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. This is a contour stick right here, and I cannot believe that it's taken me this long to actually purchase her. I have not seen anyone use this. Like, I know people love it, but I haven't actually seen anyone use it, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Ah! Oh, I was trying to twist it up. I thought product was gonna come out of there. Oh, very creamy. Okay, and that color looks good for my skin tone. So great, can't wait to use that. I have to move faster, you guys, because I still have so much stuff, okay? I got a Charlotte Tilbury um, lipstick in the shade Dance Floor Princess. I've been really into bullet lipsticks again recently. I think for a while there, I was so traumatized by my lipsticks that I was just like, couldn't even look at lipstick. But the way I wear them is different. I wear a liquid lip, like a, I do like a tiny amount of a liquid lip all over the lips and then I put the lipstick over top and it just makes the color last all day long. Oh, oh, it's magic. Okay, I got another one in the shade JK Magic because I just love a nude. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. That shade right there, that that's it. More lipstick, I kicked it old school, you guys, and I bought like one of the most expensive lipsticks. I mean, not really, they actually come much more expensive, but. Tom Ford lipstick, oh my God. This is the shade Spanish Pink. I used to be obsessed. And I've just been into lipsticks again recently. So I was like, I gotta kick it old school. I gotta get my old tried and trues I haven't purchased in years. Oh, this one right here. Tom Ford Sable Smoke. Another one that I used to absolutely love. So funny, like how all of these lipsticks are so similar, but genuinely so different. Genuinely, like some of these I would not wear if I didn't have a tan or I wouldn't wear with a certain eye look. Like they're just, they're so different. I freaking love, love this product. This is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color, again by our dear icon. I got it in the shade Baby Coral cause it's like the only shade that I don't have. I will say that it does, this product does like slip off the lips easily, but I don't care. 
I love it. It's very, very soft. It's very smoothing on the lips. And I just think, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, we have another little perfume that I have not tried. This is again by Alice Brooklyn. And this is the scent Sun Fruit. And I got a little itty bit. Like this makes me feel things I can't even describe. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. All right, let's sniffy. Love. Instantly, yes. Oh my God, love. Hold on, putting it on the body. That's the first one that I put on the body, guys, okay? Love, 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 love. Doesn't mix so well with the current perfume that I have on, <laughs> but yum, that's good. Where are we at? I got all three of these scents right here. I used to own this one and love this one. This is by the brand Salt, Sol de Janeiro. I don't know why I constantly forget the name of this brand and they're so popping right now. I'm obsessed with their body mists. Their limited edition body mist in bikini season is one of my favorite body mists I've ever owned in my entire life. And I'm so sad, I'm so sad that it's limited, but I'm really excited to try these other ones because I have not. I can't even talk about the drama that has gone on in the past 25 minutes. My camera died. I had to sit and wait to charge my battery. It is what it is. Here we go, bitch. We're back in action. I feel like this is like the fourth time. Okay, we have perfumes. We left here, we have this. I got this right here. Again, Sol de Janeiro. Oh, bitch, that smells good. This is the one that smells just like the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume. This is incredible. And that is why I got it in the bigger size because I know how much I love this scent and I can't wait to douse myself on it. This right here, you guys, I am so confused. This is the Ardell Time Sephora, Sephora exclusive lashes. But when I pulled this out, I genuinely thought that they were two different lashes. Tell me that those do not look like two different lashes. Like this is so wispy and like beautiful. And then this is like so thick and straight. They look like two different lashes to me. Am I crazy? Like. I don't, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that. Okay, great. This is so random, you guys. But this is the Victor and Rolf, is that how you say it? Flower Bomb Perfume. Okay, so I worked at Nordstrom during the time when this was huge, like 10 years ago, right? I worked at the MAC counter and I could not stand this perfume because everybody came in and sprayed it. And it's just like overwhelming. But I have now not smelt it, sniffed it in literally like 10 years. So I'm dying to know if now I like it. Maybe like it was hyped up for a reason. Hold on. Oh, that triggers some memories that I don't want to remember. You know what? This is really nice. It honestly is. This is this is a very nice, like romantic, kind of sexy, warm, little spicy perfume. But I'm not kidding when I say this brings back memories that I don't want to remember. So I am gonna just push that to the side. <laughs> okay, great. Another perfume. I blacked out on perfumes, you guys. I really did. This is the Aqua Di Gio. Did I say it? Aqua Di Gio? Yeah. Perfume, parfum, I should say, all day parfum, okay? I love this scent for men, like the men's cologne, so good. So I wanna smell it for me. Hold on. Oh, that's quite nice. But you know what? It is also kind of giving, it's giving like younger girl. Like it reminds me of like a Marc Jacobs daisy type where it's not like mature woman. It's not like sex appeal. It's like a younger girl. Like I can imagine this being like on a 22 year old. You know what I mean? Those who get it, get it. We have the Pat McGrath, right? No, I'm so sorry. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga. This is her blush and I have not heard anyone talk about it. I mean, I'm sure people are talking about it, but I personally haven't seen anyone talk about it. I just bought it because I was on the site and I was like, ooh, love the packaging. Love. This is in the shade Color Fuse Blush dragon fruit days. Okay, got it. That's pink. It sure is. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Let's see. Oh, and it looks really, really pretty. Like it doesn't look like it's gonna be too pigmented or too crazy. Not shimmery. Okay, I'm excited. That looks really pretty. Even though recently I have literally only been using my blushes like on repeat, I'm still excited to always try new ones. And then this one is by her again, and this is in the shade Pomelo Peach. I know I'm saying that wrong. Gorgeous. Okay, that's beautiful. I am nervous that they're not gonna be the type of pigment I'm looking for. They feel a little dry, but again, how are we supposed to know without not actually applying it with a brush to the face? But initially, they are coming off a little dry, but we're gonna find out. Okay, this right here, I have not heard anyone talk about either, but I saw online, and I'm like, absolutely. This is Pat McGrath Divine Bronzer. And I'm just curious what this is all about. Her packaging is always so amazing. Like, look at that. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be a really pretty formula. I haven't seen anyone talk about this, but this 
This looks really, really promising. I'm excited. I love new bronzers. I got the Refi Brow Sculpt. I've been warned that this is an amazing product, but you have to like really know what you're doing when you use it as far as like you have to go over your brow like one gentle time and you can't keep brushing through. Otherwise it's gonna turn white and clumpy and look terrible. So I am fully aware of that. Okay, got it. Brush, brush, okay. I'm nervous to try it because so many people say if you do not like work quickly, that it totally screws your brows up. So we're just gonna see what happens there. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I have this already and this is just a replacement. It's just really pretty and it doesn't burn the shakes out of your lips. It's just a very pretty soft baby pink on the lips. I repurchased this because I used to love it and I have not had it for a while. This is the Sol de Janeiro Br Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. It smells so good. I will say that this product, I'm not like, holy crap, it really moisturizes my lips all day. It just like smells so good and feels so amazing on the lips. And then of course I got more candy glazes from YSL. I have one shade right now and I'm in love with it. That's what I have on my lips currently. Well, actually I have the Fenty on top, but I got these as well. I got shade 15 and shade two. Two has no color at all. It's literally just clear. And then 15, oh, this is really, really pretty. Put it down here, 15, gorgeous. That's really, really pretty. I'm loving this formula. This right here is old school for me and I just wanted to replenish it because I haven't worn it in years. It's the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It brings back so many memories and it's just such a sexy evening, girly, slightly spicy scent. Hold on. Oh, it's so good. I forgot how much I love this scent. It smells mature florally, warm, spicy. It's really, really good. That's it, you guys. That is it for this video. I hope that you enjoy. Holy shit, it's getting bright outside. And Marty is still here. Look. Miss ma'am. Still has not moved a muscle. Say bye, Marty. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's it, you guys. I love you. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe, turn your notification bell. I'm back. I was gonna say I'm better than ever, and then I was like, am I? I am. I'm back, I'm better than ever. I can say it with confidence. Also, let me know who really wants more Jacqueline's Journey episodes, because... Uh-huh, I think I wanna do that. Okay, I love you. Bye, guys. We out!